Hello guys and welcome to our channel. My name is Francesca. My name is Anna Chiara. And today we will do a reaction to a video titled Are Indians really good at math? In my opinion, yes, <laughs> they are. Because we learned from other videos that we watched about India that there are so many people that graduated in STEAM. Um, meaning that you're really, really strong in technology, mathematics, engineering. And so I'm sure that I will be really impressed by this video. It's supposed to be, I think, kind of interviewing people, just walking on the street and asking them really hard mathematic questions. Uh, so let's see how these Indian people did at, this, at, at answering these questions. Yeah, let's see. I'm sure they're gonna be great. <laughs> yes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this type of video and also like the video and follow, it, follow us on Instagram. We really appreciate any time you leave us recommendation to future video that we should react to. Yes, let's watch. Hey guys, it's Marie from Asian Boss. What is 9 cube? Try to figure this out in your head without using no, a calculator of the many stereotypes that people have of in. Do you know it? <laughs> no, like 81 and then... No. I'm gonna need some time yes. to do okay. the math. To find out whether or not I can do it with a calculator. Does that, does that count? So let's dive right in. So a BBC report stated that an Indian bride walked out of the wedding after the groom failed to solve 15 plus 6. How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> Good thing she did. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. But maybe it was really, you know, it was focused on something else. <laughs> yeah, but like <laughs> sixteen plus five is like. I know, but when I'm really, so really excited. So you need to know that. <laughs> Francesca is famous because she is really bad at math. No, so. that's not true. It's because I'm always really focused on what I'm doing, and when I'm really excited. So uh, much is 15 plus one. I don't want to answer this question right now and I don't like your attitude. <laughs> basic knowledge, anyone should get to know how to add 15 and 6? All the best? Yes. Yeah. yeah, get a better group, please. Shake it. <laughs> if I can't do it, I'm, I'll be... He was just I'll be okay if thinking about something else. Well. Like, it's such a stupid thing. He was nervous, I'm sure. I mean, if you can't solve 15 I would six, walk down the aisle. <laughs> right? I feel bad. You can go marry him. I feel <laughs> sorry for the guy. Because, uh, See, marriage is not something, you know, with two people connect, not because of their intelligence. The heart should be connected, I feel. If this was an incident in the rural, rural India, yeah. specifically in the areas like Haryana and that sort okay, of place, okay. so yeah, ha being good at mathematics and sciences is a matter of pride over there. Like, relatives uh, will come to your yeah, house like instead of asking, hey, how you're doing in life, <laughs> how comfortable nervous. are you? What do you want? They will ask you mathematical tables and stuff like that just to prove themselves, yeah. make you feel small, or like check you out. Globally, Indians <laughs> are known for being no good at math. Do you think this is true? I don't think that's true, but mm. for some specific cases, it could be true. Yeah, it is true. Yeah, I guess in a way, mm. it, it is a little bit true. The way that we taught math is different than the way I guess other countries do. It doesn't stand for everyone, you see. We have a huge diversity in terms of that, and not everyone can be good in maths. And that's a wrong conception if you have that. That's because we have a lot of uh, maths from childhood. We don't depend on calculators, we don't depend on computers so much. So, definitely, they are better at numbers. In a scale of 1 to 10, how good would you say you are in math? 1. 7. How, wow. seven. Okay. how much do you usually score? Above 90. Actually, I'm really wow. bad. I won't say anything, <laughs> you can say a two or three. I'm going to ask you a couple of math questions, okay? <laughs> Try your best to answer. Wait, was this the guy that said that it was, it was one, one answer, out of ten? Right? Okay. What is okay. 87 plus 87? 174. 80, I knew it. Uh, 174. <laughs> what is 87 plus 87? 174. 12 into 14? 168. Wow. That was quick. <laughs> okay. What is the square of 18? 324. What is the square of 18? 18, uh, 324. It's fine. You can take it. Take it. 326. You probably have some way to calculate. Yes. Right. So that's really fast in your mind. What is the square of 18? 324. Yeah, because it's not like they knew the answer because they memorized it. They're really no, no. calculating the answer. Yeah, but probably they have like, like 
a method to yeah, do that. Yeah, for sure. That's true. Yeah. Kill buff 9. They can picture what they're doing. 721, something like that. 729. 729, yeah. What is the cube of 9? 729. <laughs> oh, yeah. that was really quick. What is the root of 256? 16. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the square of 12? 144. Okay. And he oh. says that I'm not good at math. I'm not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> he was. I'm, no, he, is, uh, he was the one that said I'm one. 729. One. That's true. <sighs> Root of 256. Uh huh. She uh, also said she wasn't good, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> 16. That's true. What is the cube what? of 9? <laughs> 729. That's right. That's what is the so root great. of 256? 16. Because these what are answers. What is the root of 256? I mean, most people can oh. answer. If you 16? study, you can do it. But really usually, <laughs> you need like a paper okay. and yeah. just How so are those a few are difficult for you? seconds. Um, they were okay. I mean, they were not too hard. And they're These like, kind of math oh, problems yeah. are actually easy for Asians, I think. Like, India seems to have a unique way of calculating big numbers in their head and uh, with their fingers. Could you show me how to do it? So you have like oh. four divisions in each Wait. of your fingers, yeah. right? Okay. Four in each. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it goes till 20. 5 into 4, 20. So that way you keep counting. If you have to add something, suppose 8 and 4, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and you have to add 4 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that gives you a 12. How did you do the first one? 87 okay. plus 87? No, I didn't get it. 80 plus 80, so that's 160, the and then 7 plus 7, 14. Every so there you go. Yeah, both of them up. Yeah. Uh, there is more I don't, than one yeah, way to get uh, how solve a question, helpful. a particular question. Because it's and faster. You those ways are like uh, not just uh, told by our teachers. Or yeah. We, we uh, ourselves discover some ways to solve a particular question. Do students use calculators in school in India? No. No, no calculators. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, I know that uh, for a fact in. Uh, Universally, I'm pretty sure most of the countries they allow, Western education allows calculators, yeah, but in India, like even right now in college and uh -huh. even for the entrance exams and stuff, you have no access to calculators, whether it's uh -huh. derivatives, integration, nothing. So, okay. yeah. Do you think that the Indian society has high standards for the general public on math? Yeah. I think Indians are expected to know quite a, uh, like mental Sorry, math and stuff. If you're working in an office you. or something, like there are some things that people expect you to know without taking the to calculate without using a calculator, yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, it does because uh, see, this is the land where zero was discovered. Okay, so it is intrinsically <laughs> in our brains that we are good at maths and plus accounting concepts. Everything was developed in India, so it's a basic understanding with all Indians have in their mind that you should be good in maths. When you're going to the government schools, yeah. you'll have below average English teachers, below average social science teachers, okay. but you'll have all right mathematics teachers. Average, math so body. naturally, your expectations for mathematics grows from there only. If you consider Indian parents, which is the Desi parents, then yes, they do actually. I mean, I scored 80 to 100 on math in math, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But my parents were not happy at all. What would you like to say to people overseas? who have these stereotypes about India. Not all of us are good at math, but quite a few are. So that's it, I mean. <laughs> I'm curious, um, how are you guys in math? Let us know in the comments how you consider yourself. I'm curious. Yeah, but I mean, the boy there would say, oh, I'm out of one out of 10. Okay, please just be <laughs> honest. <laughs> honest, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Quite a few things y'all are good at too. The only thing I'd say is the fact that they do not allow children to rely on calculators is like the biggest thing because mm -hmm. that really does help in the future if you don't need to, you, you don't have the urge to take a calculator out and you're able to do stuff on your own. To be very honest, I myself want to know and research about that, that why is this, that <laughs> why is this stereotypical image that we Indians are only uh, good, at, uh, good at maths and why not the outsiders one. Okay don't have the stereotype, uh, stereotype in their minds that Indi our only Indians are good at maths. It depends only on the person. Yeah. There is actually the social yeah. pressure yeah. due to which uh, the perception is that majority of the Indians are good at mathematics. Actually, um, the natural capability is I believe the same all over the world. It's the socio-cultural phenomenon over here which promotes mathematics in a way and you see the result that way. Did this video change your perspective on Probably. English math skills? Let us know in the comments. No. <laughs> no, but probably the fact that they can't use calculator and they yeah. give you a lot of... Even 
you know, when you are in high school and uh, mm. university, probably that, that helps you yeah. to keep your mind really sharp on that. In subject. Italy, we would say that you make da necessità virtù, mm-hmm. which means that if you have a necessity, you have no other way to figure it out, then you make it your own skill to figure it out. So you don't have a calculator, then you become really, really fast, quick, and really good at doing any type of mathematical operation, I guess. Yeah. 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 But it was, uh, it was quite impress- impressive. Anyway, yeah. They were really, really good. So <laughs> you actually didn't... I mean, they should have put some Indian that was were, that wasn't good. Yeah, exactly. At maths, so at least we were like, oh yeah, there are some really really good Indians at maths, and, and some other that are not. But they were just uh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so well, yeah, guys, thanks for watching us. Let us know in the comments where you think you are, how you think you are in math, and if you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ciao.